In this video, I'm going to show you an AI tool that allows you to create high quality KDP book covers in a matter of seconds. And what's even better is in this video, I'm also going to show you how you can combine this tool with Amazon ads to objectively make the best KDP book cover possible for your book. I'm not talking about a book cover that you think looks good or someone else has told you that looks good. I'm talking about a book cover that is backed by data to be the best. So let's get right into it. So the tool I'm referring to in this video is Kittle. Now I have made a couple of videos about Kittle on this channel. It's, in my opinion, one of the best tools you can use for Amazon KDP. And the big thing that they've just released is a brand new update called Kittle Flows. And it essentially allows you to take any design you want and you can alter it extremely easily using prompts. If you do want to check out Kittle, I will leave a link down below in the description. And you can also use the code on screen to get yourself a nice discount too. Now, the reason why this allows you to find the best possible book cover for your book is that you're able to create essentially loads of different variations of a book cover and then test them against each other other to figure out which one is the best. Whereas before a tool like this, you would manually have to go through and make all of these covers yourself, which would be extremely time consuming, but you can now literally do it in just a couple of seconds. So I'm going to take this design uh, as an example. I actually made this using Kittle in a previous video. I will leave that linked on screen if you want to go ahead and check that out of how you can make a you know, front cover just like this completely from scratch. But let's just say we had this front cover and we weren't 100% sure if this was kind of the best color combination or the best kind of style to convert the best for our books. Now, one thing that's worth bearing in mind here is a book cover basically has one goal. And the main goal of any book cover on any Amazon KDP book is simply to get people off the search results and into your book listing. Your book cover needs to be visually appealing. It needs to be eye clutching because these are the things that are going to take someone from just browsing, looking for any kind of book to seeing yours and clicking into your book listing. The goal of your cover is to get people from Amazon search results into your book listing. Because ultimately, if it doesn't look good or it doesn't capture their attention, you're not going to get anyone to click onto your listing. And if you're not getting anyone on your listing, you're not going to make any sales. So you can objectively measure how good a KDP book cover is by looking at how many people are actually clicking onto your listing relative to the number of people who are actually seeing it. And later on in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that and where you can find this data. But before we can test all of these different book covers, we first need to actually create different variations of it. And that's exactly where this tool comes in. So if we just go into Kittle, I'm going to take this design here as the example. Go ahead and just press artboard. And what you want to go down to is this area of add smart board. And this basically allows you to put in a prompt and it will create a new example of this product based on what you're saying. So I just said, create a design more suited to girls. And then go ahead and just press generate. What that's going to do is going to read my prompt. It's going to look at this design here. And because I've told it, let's try and make it a design that's more kind of tailored to girls. Let's say I wanted to target girls with this animal coloring book. I would need a cover that kind of reflects that. And that's going to do this literally for us just after one single prompt. So as you can see, Kittle has gone ahead and taken this image and created a much better version, in my opinion, and that's also tailored toward girls. So they've changed the color scheme to pink. They've put hearts on there. They've put some stars on there. And to be honest, this design actually looks way better than the one I originally had. So in literally a matter of typing in a sentence, I've taken this book and converted it into a completely different audience. And actually the quality of the actual book cover, the design just looks way better anyway. And so that just shows you how powerful this tool can be. So let's just say you wanted to have this animal coloring book and you want to target for girls, you now have a significantly better book cover. And this one I can guarantee will not just convert more, but get more people's attention because it just stands out way more than the original. So let's just say you wanted to test loads of the different book covers. Here's what you can do. Let's just go to this artboard again, and then we'll go for add smart board and then just say change the background to orange. Let's go ahead and press generate. Let's go back to the artboard again. Let's make another one. Change the background to blue, put that one in. And then let's just go for one last one and let's just go for a little bit more a little bit of different kind of prompt let's go for change the color scheme of this design and let's just go and see what these three things generate it will take about a minute for these to generate and then i'll come back once they have done so i'm back again and as you can see we now have loads of different variations of this first design we've got a green background we've got the one that's for girls we've got an orange background probably not going to be the best because these orange colors kind of blend in and doesn't allow the animals to stand out a blue background a red background then also a 
darker blue background. I added this one in just as an extra option. I just said, make this more appealing to boys. Again, just a different prompt to using this tool and you can see just how different it is. So now essentially what we've done is you've taken one initial book cover and in a matter of minutes, generated loads of different variations and different versions of them. Then we can now go onto Amazon and test and see which one is objectively the best book cover, i.e. the one that gets the most clicks and the one that gets the most sales. I'm gonna show you now exactly how you can measure this. So how to measure a book cover success. Now, as I said earlier in this video, the goal of your book cover is simple. It's to get people's attention and ultimately click into your listing. Once they're in your listing, it's therefore up to your listing page to convert them into a sale. So yes, your book cover does play some kind of role in converting people into the sale, but the main role of the book cover, as I said, is just to take them from the search results and get them onto your book listing. Once they're in your book listing, it's up to your title, you know, your reviews, your A plus content, the interior of the book, the description, all those kind of things to convert the intended buyer into an actual buyer. The book cover just gets them into the listing in the first place. So therefore we can measure the quality of a book cover objectively by the number of clicks that it gets, i.e. the number of people it takes from the search results into your actual book listing. That is how you measure the success of a KDP book cover. And the way that you can do this is by using your Amazon ads console. So on default kind of Amazon KDP, you don't get any data in terms of your book's clicks. But if you set up ad campaigns, you get all of this data, the number of people who saw your book, the number of people who clicked into your book, the number of people who bought your book, you get all of these really important data points in your Amazon ads console. As you can see, here's a screenshot of one of my campaigns. Don't worry too much about the actual numbers. Spent 544 pounds, got just under 2000 pounds back of sales. So it's a decent campaign that I've got running at the moment. But the key thing you want to look at here is these three metrics, impressions, clicks, and click-through rate. And if your Amazon ads console doesn't currently display these three metrics, all you want to do is go ahead to this columns button, press customize columns, and then just make sure these three things are selected. And I'm going to explain why these are the most important ones to select and how you can use them to test your different book covers. So for those of you that don't know, impressions is basically just the number of people who saw your ad. So in this example here, 124,055 people saw my book cover in some kind of search results. There's quite a lot of people who have seen the book cover. Of these 124,000, 1,327 ended up clicking into my book listing, which is 1.07%. So 1.07% of 124,000 is this click number. So now the main metric that I recommend you look at is this click-through rate metric, because this basically means it doesn't matter how many impressions a book gets or how many a click gets, it's all about this click-through rate number. Because if you're just testing two books, for example, you're testing one book cover for two weeks and then another book cover for the second two weeks. If you have, for just for some reason, a massive uplift in impressions in the first two weeks, maybe your bid was much higher or there was loads less competition advertising against the same you know, keywords or whatever. If you have way more impressions, you're going to naturally just get way more clicks. So measuring the success of a book cover based on the raw number of clicks doesn't make any sense because this number only makes sense in context of the impressions, if you see what I'm saying. So the reason why the click-through rate is so important is because this number basically just takes into account you know, the number of impressions versus the number of clicks. And this is the number that you should be comparing against. So what I recommend doing is testing different covers for anywhere between two weeks to one month. You know, you have to be patient with this because you need to get enough data to understand what's exactly going on. But let's just say you had those five different book covers that I showed you earlier on. If you wanted to compare all of them to find out which one is the best, I would say maybe two weeks to four weeks perhaps of each book cover, run an ad campaign, and then just see what impact it has on your ads click-through rate. And essentially the period in time in which you have a certain book cover, if that book cover has the highest click-through rate, I would say that is objectively the best book cover for that KDP book because it's converting the highest percentage of people from seeing your book to actually going in and clicking into your listing. So now you don't just have a book cover that you think is really good or one person said looks better than the others. You have a book cover that is objectively backed by so much data as being the best book cover you can use. And you have basically do that by comparing different book covers and measuring their click-through rate. So I would say test at least three different book covers and see which converts the best and has the best click-through rate. So let's just say you wanted to decide between these three different book covers that we generated earlier, which of these is going to be the best one to have for your KDP book. And in order to do so, you run an ad campaign, you set each of these individually as the book cover for a two week period. So six weeks in total, two weeks with this as the book cover, two weeks with this one as the book cover, and then two weeks with this one as the book cover. And then you looked at the click through rates of all of them to see which is the best one. Let's just say, for example, this first one here had a click through rate 
rate of 1%. I've just kept these numbers super easy, so the maths is easy as well. So you had a click-through rate of 1% in this one. This one had a click-through rate of 0.8%, and this one had a click-through rate of 2%. So if your click-through rates are these different numbers here, for every 1,000 people who see your book in an ad, in this one, 10 of them will click into your book listing. In this one, eight of them will click into your book listing. And in this one, 20 of them will click into your book listing. And the more people that go into your book listing, the more sales you're going to make. So objectively, this book cover is going to be the best book cover for your KDP book because it gets more people onto your book listing. And that means more people are going to buy. And you actually have the data to back this up because it's all done through this click through rate number. So there you go. There's a super handy AI tool that allows you to generate as many different versions of KDP book covers as possible and how you can actually test these different book covers against each other using Amazon ads and also specifically looking at click through rates. So if Amazon ads are a little bit confusing for you, if you click the video on screen, I do have a complete beginner's tutorial for Amazon ads, which you can go ahead and check out and learn everything that you need to know.